really high. As surely as our children carry on all of our good genetic stuff. I'm gonna go really high like last time. The liveliness. Come on, Dad. And the laughter. <laughs> they can carry on the bad stuff, too. <laughs> In this family's case, a brain-eroding, body-robbing serpent of a syndrome that's slunk its way through the family tree from great-great-granddad to great-granddad to grandpa. We're talking about whole families. Now there's a 50-50 chance mom will have it too. And if she does, a 50-50 shot each of these little ones will. All of it's emotional, but I really don't try to concentrate on them getting sick or, or anything, let alone this. And despite the overwhelming odds against them. That I wish our odds were that good in the lottery. They lead remarkably unremarkable lives. Miranda Lindahl's father, Jeff along with her aunts, uncles, and grandmother, live with a mysterious disease, one that's taken a heavy toll on the family. In that, you can find some hope and also some humor. He laughed all the time. Of course, inappropriate laughter is one of the symptoms. Yeah. <laughs> I can remember my kids even lashing out at their dad over certain things, you know, and he never he just kind of laugh it off, and now when I think about it, it just seems like we were so mean, you know, really mean. And I'm just hoping that he doesn't think that about us. Alice Lindahl is talking about her husband. With him, she raised five children. The hardworking cabinet maker and volunteer fire chief had dreams for when things settled down. He just loved to golf. He bought land in Wisconsin. It was his dream to build the house and to retire up here. He worked for years on his dome home on the 15th fairway. This and all the memories had his first hole in one here were to be his legacy bridging the generations. It was relaxing, quiet at night, and we had a lot of fun. But long before he'd finished his dream home, his hammer fell silent. You know, I always thought he was getting lazy. <laughs> I, I didn't really realize that there was something wrong. His son, who joined the family cabinet-making business, noticed. Just the fact that he couldn't figure anymore. He wasn't able to figure. He couldn't add money. His personality changed. He couldn't work. The fire department asked him to step down. He never admitted there was something wrong. He just laughed it off. And then he'd do something which I thought at the time was stupid. And, of course, I'd get mad and yell and... Now when I look back, it was things that he couldn't help. So that bothers me a lot. You know, I'm just hoping that he's forgiven me for... Bothers me. Was it Alzheimer's? Depression? MS? It was still a mystery, but the MRIs began to explain what was happening. The MRIs of his brain looked disastrous. This isn't what I expected. Huge areas of dark and white show irreversible damage. And then you have to sort of sit there and say, "Is what's, what's going on here? And For a dozen years, a slow, steady decline. Still no diagnosis. The mystery as relentless as the disease until Dr. Hoy came across a genetic disorder that explained not only Wayne Lindahl's condition, but likely his brothers, his dad's, two cousins, two uncles, and a grandfather. It's called Catacil, and doctors say this family might have the most number of members affected by it. The real blow came in 2000. Their 39-year-old son, Jeff, diagnosed, and then in 2002... So I started having double vision. Another son. Right away at the time, I thought, I got Dad's thing. And I called my mom and told her, and she said, don't say that. These two sons have six children and three grandchildren between them, including Miranda's daughters. I don't want to have to think about that. I want to think about all the good stuff, and, you know, if it happens, it happens. If it happens, they'll be armed with a lot more information than Alice had when her husband got sick. Hindsight and hope are what drive this one-woman publicity machine. There's no funding for it, obviously, so they can't do a lot. She wants to change that and increase awareness of the illness. So someday, the next generation will have only good things to pass on to their children.